can't be the Davidson's pool. They finished the heavy work on that a week ago. Don't tell me the Harpers are making another room addition. Can't be. Patty Harper would have been bragging about it for weeks. No, whatever it is, I hate it. What time is it? Oh, God. 11.37? Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Hold the heart attacks. It's only a little after seven. This thing must finally be losing it. Well, another average day begins in the right household. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Michael, did you hear that? No. Sounded like the front door. It wasn't. Yes, but, but we can use her telephone. Cliff Turner would never leave his door unlocked like that. The phone's in the family room. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Please don't move. We need help. Would you mind telling me who you are and what you're doing here? Oh, thank God we found you, or, or that uh, you found us. Whatever. You have got to tell us what's going on. Well, do you people live near here? Uh, about seven blocks from here on Collins Avenue. Uh, well, is there some place closer you'd be more comfortable? Uh, well, there's my office. Uh... What is all this? What the hell is going on? You're, well, some place you're not supposed to be. And where the devil is that? Well, it's not so much where, really, as when. We are now in the minute 1137 AM, April 27, 1900. Wait, 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 what do you mean, in 1137? We're talking about time, Mr. Wright. And somehow, you and your wife have, uh, stepped backstage in time. While all your friends, neighbors are experiencing the minute 9.33, you two somehow have skipped over a few hours and landed here in the minute 11.37. I'm not following this at all. Let me see if I can explain. Now, think of time as an infinite series of boxcars, all linked together, like this. Now, each boxcar represents one minute, and people like yourselves move from boxcar to boxcar as time moves forward. Now, each boxcar is totally empty, like that white void you stepped into in the alley back there. And it's up to me and my crew to build something into that boxcar. Now, the boxcar we're standing in right now is 1137. Meanwhile, everybody else, all your friends, are experiencing the minute 9.34. And in one minute, they'll be in 9.35, then 9.36, until eventually they reach 11.37. They'll spend their minute here, and then move on to 11.38, 11.39, and on and on. Understand? So you're saying that each minute of time is a different place? That's right. Why? Why what? Why does time work like this? Because that's the way it works. You're saying that the house that we woke up in this morning is not the same house that we went to sleep in last night? No, it's not the exact same house, but made to look identical to the other house. And if I and my crew do our jobs well, you'll never know the difference. And you do this for every minute? You build everything? Makes you want to stop taking your minutes for granted, doesn't it? How do you do all that? Well, I've got quite a few workers, and we work quite a ways in advance. Here. Uh... Here, take my hand. Absolutely not. Come on! Honey, I don't feel good about this. This is next Christmas Day, 5.06 a.m., about eight months from now. As you can see, we're just beginning work. But by December 25th, people will spend their minute here, and it'll look exactly as they expect. So that white void that we ran into back in that alley, that was some area that you hadn't finished yet? Oh, no, no. That section of the alley won't even be used during that minute. No one will walk down it or even see it. So we didn't bother to finish it. Okay. Can we get out of here? I'm, I'm feeling a little woozy. Well, sure. And here we are, back at 11.37, April 27th. More dust up there. I've been meaning to get to that. <laughs> Do you ever make mistakes? 
Have you ever gone to where you swore you left your car keys or your tie tack or your earrings and they weren't there? You look everywhere and then you look again and they're right back where you thought they were in the first place? Yeah. Hmm. Little things like that. Nothing major, thank heavens. Not yet, anyways. It's all very precariously balanced. One big mess up could unravel the whole system. Wait till I tell Gary about this. Oh, he'll just flip out. <laughs> Gary Bachman's a friend of ours from college. He, he writes for Omni, Science Digest, magazines like that. No, oh, I'm afraid you can't tell your friend. Well, I'm not certain we'd know how to explain all this, but you can't expect us not to try. Uh, I mean, the way time works is uh, one of the supreme mysteries of the universe. It's supposed to be a mystery. And the balance of things demands that we make certain it remains one. How? Uh, I mean, how are you going to keep us from... By keeping you here, with us. No. Oh, you're not the first ones to have slipped behind the scenes like this. It happens every once in a while. I'm afraid you simply cannot be allowed to return. The repercussions of such a move could prove cataclysmic. And to be honest, I'm not certain you'd even be able to return. Well, y you could at least let us try. Sorry. There's simply no choice. Michael? Come on. Hey! Wait! Come back! Almost 11.37. Come on. How do you know it's safe? Well, we haven't seen or heard anybody in over a half an hour. Now, I figure they can't risk being caught here when actual time does arrive, so they just have to leave us and hope for the best. What's going to happen when actual time does arrive? Well, we'll know that in 45 seconds. What if 11.37 comes and goes and everybody else goes with it and we stay here? I don't know. I'm just here. This is my first time. Mr. Wright. Mrs. Wright, you must come with me. Now. No. Actual time is almost here. 20 seconds. Go. Go. You've got to go. Now. What's that noise? It's the sound of actual time approaching. 10 seconds. Terribly sorry. I've got like four more feet and then I'm clear of your car. <gasps> that magazine's right back here. Hey, wait. Think you're gonna stick? I hope so, honey. Believe me, nobody would like to stick in actual time more than me. 20, 19, 18. What if we don't? 17. You're starting again. We'll know in 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. We did it! <laughs> We're back! Oh, oh. Let's go home. Yeah. Gary Bachman is never going to believe this. Never. Michael, look. Time, a 
handy fiction to explain why everything doesn't happen all at once. Or maybe we're the fiction, moving minute by minute through the twilight zone.